Good morning YouTube and welcome back to the farm. Well I got some good news. The manager over at Harbor or at uh, excuse me, not Harbor Freight, Northern Tool, uh, a guy named Justice. I called him about a problem with the pressure switch of my brand spanking new compressor and he got right on it and he got his parts guys to order up the parts from Ingersoll Rand. It arrived over at their office. I went into town, picked it up, brought it out here, and it was a direct replacement. And the one that came on the compressor, first clue should have been this. You can focus on that. See that little divot? Somebody strapped this down, down in the truck getting it to the store and messed this thing up. No big deal. We got it replaced. Now it's able to work. I've gone and replaced the entire unit here and plugged it in and proved that it works. So it shuts off at about 135, 140 PSI and then cuts back on at about 100. And it fills this tank up amazingly quickly. Now one of the big things that I was really worried about when I got this thing placed next to my old compressor so that I can use the tank on the old compressor for reserve air. I wanted to hook these things together so that I had this extra reserve capacity. And that was going to be a bit of a problem. So when I attacked this project, of course the first thing I had to do is I had to go and move the uh, 220 volt outlet over here on the wall. This is a 220 volt dryer hookup like you would use for an electric dryer for a clothes dryer in your home and I got the right size cable and it just reaches where I need it, need it to go and that's so I can unplug it if I have to and I have easy access to the breaker over here if I need to and then I came to the plumbing part I went online and researched my options and I came up with this. This is the Rapid Air Home and Garage Kit. I picked this up at Northern Tool. And uh, it gives you 100 feet of tubing. It gives you a couple of manifold kits, uh, a bunch of tubing clips. It gives you unions. It gives you elbows. It gives you tees and uh, little straight hookups so that you can hook uh, stuff into your compressor and whatnot, as well as uh, a couple of quick couplers and an outlet kit and with this I figured I ought to be able to make quick work of hooking these two together and here's the big and I want to go ahead and plumb my barn I want air at both of the big doors the one on the east side the one on the west side and so I don't have these hoses going along the floor that I keep tripping over and what you get is some blue tubing. And I was amazed uh, at how easy this stuff goes together. I got an elbow here, and let me show you how easy this is to put together. No pipe dope, no uh, uh, Teflon tape or anything. You take the tube, you take your fitting, in this case it's an elbow, and you go and put the two together and you push and then you make sure it clicks and then this little collar make sure the collar comes out and once that's there it is not coming apart it's just that easy I mean no wrapping with tape no pipe dope no pipe wrenches no wrenches in, in fact and now that I've got the new compressor set up and running and I've got the plumbing that's on the old compressor modified to take this as an input. I'm going to show you how easy this stuff goes together. So let's get to work. I installed one of their fittings just after the valve so that I can go and hook up some tubing to this. And I'm going to take a short piece of tubing little piece like this 
and I'm gonna push it in till it clicks and pull the little collar out and as you can tell it's not coming out now I go and put another fitting on here which is an elbow and I'm gonna push that on all the way and then make sure that little collar comes out now I'm gonna take this oh I'd say three foot maybe three and a half foot piece and I'm gonna plumb it into there click it's there and it's on now let's go and hook it up to my old compressor and here's the old Christmas tree off of my old compressor I've got a air dryer here with a uh, 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 what do you call it a, a pressure regulator this way I can go and run um, stuff like paint guns and things that don't want high pressure and then I've got this coming out here and this hooks to various things that are around my shop and I've got valves so I can cut stuff off and this little doodad here that's what's going to be plugged into the new compressor and I'll put a little stub here push it all the way in make sure that collar comes back I have a little elbow here I'm going to pop that elbow on I'm going to push it on make sure that little collar comes out then I'm going to take the tubing from the other compressor and push it in all the way in make sure that little collar comes out and we're on we now have both of the compressors hooked together now let's go and open a little air and see what happens see if anything leaks cross your fingers I don't hear any hiss the thing I like about this is it's a little bit flexible so if there's vibration or somebody bumps into the compressor it's not going to be a problem now let's open the valve to the old compressor now the pressure is equalizing let's see if the new compressor turns on And there we go. We have the blue line that connects it to my old compressor and everything else in the barn. It's up and running and working like a champ. Now I can go and hook everything else back up and start using it. And we sure have missed having our air tools. That was a little difficult to get on because the pressure is live. It's one of the reasons why I've got this valve here so you can release the pressure and hook stuff up. But yeah, that's going to work. I'm happy. And if you have any doubts about hooking up your compressor, this rapid air is the way to go. Now, let me tell you a little story. A good friend of mine that I used to work with a long time ago he had a garage and built a new house built a new garage needed a compressor he got something along these lines you know big old monster compressor tucked it over in the corner got it all set up and he wanted air drops next to every garage door as well as he wanted several air drops over on his workbench and an air drop going to the outside so that he could go and air up the tires in his tractor and stuff like that so he spent a lot of time going and uh, uh, plumbing the entire place with the schedule 40 gray conduit you know like PVC pipe conduit and because he wanted to do it on the cheap he had fittings had all the stuff to make make it happen and uh, he went and plumbed it all up about a year and a half or so after he installed everything something failed somewhere in all the stuff that was around 
his little garage, or I shouldn't say little, it was a large garage, it failed and blew. And when it blew, the compressor was left on. And he and I would go off and do projects for the company that we worked for, and he'd be gone for a week. He came back, and the compressor had smoked. He said, as soon as I opened the garage, I smelled a burnt motor. And sure enough, it was his compressor that was burnt up. So what's he do? He goes and replaces the compressor with a newer, bigger, more powerful one. As soon as he went and opened up the valve and let it go into his existing piping, he had a real surprise. And <laughs> if, if you haven't been around a, a open three quarter inch line when it uh, pops off with 150 PSI of pressure, it will scare you and it will make you want to run the other way. Long story short, he went and did some research and figured out that was the possibly the worst thing that he possibly could have used was PVC pipe because the air compressor will dry out the PVC and when you dry it out it weakens it and of course when it weakens it's liable to burst like his did. So he ended up going with a system very similar to this and did his entire garage in three quarter inch tubing and to you know this was whew, 20 years ago or no 15 years ago he hadn't had a problem with it since so I know for a fact this stuff will last for a long time and from what I understand the three quarter inch version of this is what a lot of garages use to plumb their place and as you saw with the elbows and the fittings it's so easy to work with I wouldn't work with anything else now that I've gotten to play with it a little bit so check out rapid air you know I'm not being uh, uh, reimbursed for this I just found a good product and I think this is awesome and now I've got my whole barn rigged up with these little pieces and now I'm gonna take I went in and bought two kits and with the two kits I'm gonna go and plumb this whole place and that's gonna be a job because you got to go and put all your lines up high so that your moisture will drip down where it'll get blown out of the system and that's a little more difficult than it sounds in here it's got a lot of move a lot of stuff in order to be able to get to the walls to be able to mount this stuff and when you mount this stuff you got to go and drill into some heavy steel beams to put the little screws in for the little uh, uh, doodads that hold it so yeah I'm happy I got this and I look forward to plumbing the rest of the barn with this stuff thanks for hanging out with me a little bit this morning and we got the compressor running again and we now have air again come back and see it in our next project